and welcome to the License Your Invention Show. I am your host, David Fidoa, and I'm here to help you license your product. And today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to license to Walmart, Target, and Bed Bath Neon at the same time. Let us jump right into it. How to license to Walmart, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, or if you're in the hardware category and you have a tool product, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, all the big boxes, um, even True Value. So it's, it's not that you're actually licensing directly to these retailers. What you're doing is you're licensing to a company that sells to these companies. And that's the way you get your product into uh, the big boxes, the Walmarts, Targets, Bed Bath & Beyonds of the world. And so that's one of the best ways to license because licensing is all about distribution. If you know and understand how distribution chains work, then you're able to leverage that knowledge to get a better potential licensee and then have them sell more of your product because more product sales equals more royalties. And so uh, learning, understanding how this works can really truly help you. And to give you uh, a little snippet of how to look at it or try to try to decipher what companies are great for licensing. Essentially, you can break down companies into three layers. Home Depots, Lowe's, Menards, or if you're uh, in a different category, Walmart, Target, Bed Bath Beyond. Those are the ones that have physical stores or even online retail. So that's your top layer. Those are the ones that customers buy directly from. Then underneath that are brands. These brands are the companies that supply product to the retailers. And this right here is gonna be one of the best layers for licensing. And then underneath that, the bottom layer is the manufacturer, the ones that actually produce and manufacture the product to sell to either the brands or directly to retail. And so your best potential licensee is typically that middle band because that middle band of those brands of products are companies that go and sell into Walmart. They also can sell into Target and Bad Bath & Beyond. And this gives them a lot of strength when they're licensing because the amount of royalties that you make depends upon your potential licensees or your licensees amount of distribution. You see, when you're creating your formula for how much you're gonna make, distribution has the biggest contributing factor to how much you actually make at the end of the day. And so when you're finding those companies in the middle band that have multiple distribution points, those are the ones that have the best um, or those are the ones that I truly look for to license to because they're gonna be the ones that uh, get my product out in the biggest way. So, if you're looking to license your product, find that middle band, find that uh, group of uh, brands that sell into uh, Walmart, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond. The way you find them is you go to the store, go to the section. Let's say you're selling, or you've made an innovation on a hammer. And so you go to uh, Home Depot, you go to the hammer section, and right there, they probably have 20 or 30 different kinds of hammers, you know, 10 brands or so. Those brands are the ones that you're gonna wanna license to. Not Home Depot, not the ones that manufacture it, but the brands that have their name on it. And so that's the best way to find those potential licensees to get your product in all of these different retail points. Thank you for tuning in to the License Your Invention Show. I am your host, David Fidua, and as you know, I'm always here to help you license your product. If you're interested in more information, check out inventtribe.com. And also, if you want to get your product into Walmart, Target, and Bed Bath & Beyond, or whichever combination of stores, uh, subscribe now to find out more information in future YouTube videos. Also, coming up next, this is such an exciting uh, next video that we're doing, it's the 10 day deal. I explain how I put together a licensing deal from inception of idea on a Sunday to closing it the following Tuesday. So I can't wait to tell you that story on the next episode. Uh, thank you so much.